Yes. Uh, currently, what weapons do we have as a society? What weapons or tools or powers that the society have, if any, to free temples uh, from the state control? You see, um, there is a reason why I have stopped delivering lectures on the subject. Because uh, I think the articulation of the problem is already done and dusted. I have done this enough. In terms of solutions, uh, we have presented tentative solutions to stakeholders in the central government, publicly also. So the easiest way is the Gurdwaras in this country are governed by the Gurdwara Act of 1920. And Gurdwaras are not state controlled. So why isn't that legislation being considered, at the very least, the starting point of a uniform temple code, a UTC? Let's discuss that first. That's more important to me than a UCC. I'm e actually more interested in a UTC because that can act actually solve a lot of problems without a UCC. That's my clear reading of it. So when people say, Iska kya hoga? Are we actually making the argument that Hindus are incapable of running their own institutions whereas every other community is capable of? Is the majority so self-loathing that it doesn't have the trust in itself? Are we such bad Macaulay Putras? I don't understand. That can't be the argument. Are there no states in this country where there's an example? Goa temples are free of state control. They say chota state. Okay, now chote pradesh mein to shuru shuruaat kijiye, usse baat karte hain, then we'll talk. Uttarakhand mein chhod diya aapne, Himachal mein chhod dijiye. Kerala chhod dijiye. What is a communist who doesn't believe in God doing in my temple? Get out. If HRC appointees have to be practicing Hindu legally, how can the minister be a communist? All the karamcharis have to be Hindus, practicing Hindus, but the man sitting on the top is not. And he will organize a beef festival in, in Kaladi, the birthplace of Shankaracharya. And we should sit and tolerate that person as the minister who is in charge of my institution. Are people uncomfortable? Don't be. Don't be. It's a crucial issue. That is what you have been fighting for centuries now. Don't be. Next. So, give it some time. We'll see what's happening. Perhaps pay attention to what's happening with the Chidambaram temple. Uh, how people are taking over, how the Dravidian government uh, is, in, Dravidianist government rather, is, is attacking an institution which has won its freedom from the Supreme Court. And despite victory from the Supreme Court, how it can be tormented and tortured. Here's a live example of it. I've been speaking to the Dikshitars on and off. There are people on the ground who are helping. Sometimes it's best to let more people on the ground and um, local dramatists personally do the talking because then you're enabling strength on the ground. If one person keeps jumping into every issue and goes everywhere, where is the encouragement for people on the ground to act? No, you do it. When it comes to the Supreme Court, I'm sure. Until then, you do your job there. Next.